Something remarkable is about to happen on the Washington coast. A new beach town will rise out of the woods overlooking the Pacific Ocean just south of Pacific Beach. Honoring this majestic site at its backdrop, traditional Northwest architecture will be seamlessly woven into the environment, creating a premier location for living on or visiting the Washington coast. Welcome to Seabrook. What makes the Seabrook plan so unique and exciting is based on research of the most beautiful and enduring sea towns in the region and beyond. Seabrook reflects the principles of the new urbanism movement. New urbanism is actually an old concept. Build a town based on pedestrians with the goal of unifying a community with all its inherent diversity. This influential movement among architects and urban planners encourages the return to age-old town planning patterns as an antidote to 20th century suburban sprawl. Seabrook will offer a variety of home styles including small cottages, larger homes, apartments, and townhouses, live-work homes, and flats and lofts, all seamlessly woven together. The center of the community will be more concentrated and urban, while its outer edges will offer larger lots and a more rural interface. This range will echo itself in the diverse community it creates. To best understand what Seabrook will be like, we need to take a look at the first and most successful new town built in recent history. Seaside, Florida, an architect's dream, a developer's fantasy, and a mecca for those seeking a real beach town experience. It's an 80-acre community development heralded as the first and to date perhaps the most successful example of new urbanism. Once known as the Redneck Riviera, the location for Seaside was considered the most undesirable stretch of coastline in Florida. Seaside is the birthplace of new urbanism. It began over 20 years ago with a one street that was put in over the last 20 years. Seaside has developed its 80 acres into over 330 single family residences. First conceived in 1981 by husband and wife architectural team Andres Duani and Elizabeth Plater Zyberg, the community is built on a neighborhood scale and is designed to foster a sense of community. People are beginning to realize that this is a better way of living. It's a better environment where they get to know their neighbors and not just their neighbors' cars. The chance interactions on the streets, on the paths, in the civic areas, in the communities, down at the market or at the post office. You've got chance encounters with your neighbors and people like meeting people and interacting. The streets are all interconnected, creating a network that eliminates collector routes and reduces congestion. Walkways and sidewalks weave through the development to encourage walking and biking, while narrow streets serve to reduce traffic speed. Front porches and stoops are set close enough to walkways to enable porch sitters and passers-by to communicate without raising their voices. The community has a discernible center, creating a common gathering place and necessities, stores, schools, Post office, parks, are located within a five-minute walk of each dwelling. Before designing Seaside, Robert Davis, Andres, and Elizabeth traveled up and down the eastern seaboard where they studied the context of small historic towns and what made them special aesthetically and functionally. They then incorporated this research into crafting an idyllic beach town. At the beginning, no one knew quite what to make of this return to tradition. In the early days, there was plenty of skepticism, and we would encourage them to purchase their land. And if they didn't, that's fine. We'd part friends, and they'd come back the next summer saying, my goodness, you've done this. Why didn't you convince me last year to do this? But finally, families and investors have caught the vision for Seaside. It has everything they desire. Diverse community, inspired regional architecture, a return to the traditional ways of a small beach town, where there once was a valueless piece of sand, a beautiful community quickly grew. Lots were bought and structures rose up quickly. In fact, there was such a demand for real estate in Seaside, property values increased tenfold in just 10 years. Everyone caught the vision and wanted to be a part of it. 
over 20 years ago when they first began selling land in Seaside, the lots were selling in the fifteen dollars to $18,000 range. Today, with homes that range from 12 to 15, upwards of 22, 3,500 square feet, the homes are selling anywhere from five to eight hundred dollars per square foot in some instances. Some of them way off the beach are upwards of twelve to thirteen hundred dollars per square foot of heated and cooled space for these homes. Seaside is now a developed community revered all over the world as the new way to build a beach town. People have flocked to this location on the western Gulf of Mexico to study the success of the architects and developers. The concept of new urbanism is now a building craze and making its way across the country and now finally establishing itself in the Northwest. From Gearhart to Manzanita, Cannon Beach to Neskowin, the Oregon coastal communities have long been admired for their quaint village feel. Nestled just south of Lincoln City is the small community of Bella Beach, the first new traditional neighborhood on the Oregon coast, designed with narrow streets, front porches, alleys, and public open spaces. Using Bella Beach as a smaller model for Seabrook, Casey Roloff of Current Development carries the vision for bringing new urbanism to the Northwest Pacific coastline. I'd learned a little bit about um, traditional neighborhoods and some new towns that were being built across the country and um, the first thing I noticed is the garages were hidden and they were using alleys and really all the houses had front porches and the streets were narrower and they were very unconventional for today's standards and I realized that that's that's what my buyer wants that's it's exactly what I want so I met Lawrence Kamar luckily Lawrence was on the on the ground floor of that working for Duani Platter Zebrick who had designed um, Seaside and showed him this little project that I had it was about 10 acres it was south of Pelican Lane he just you know within a half an hour really brought the thing to life and created this little park and you know designed in alleys and, and changed the streets and the lotting and all of a sudden he created this special little place. The main idea with, with Bella Beach is something that we learned from Seaside, Florida where Dwani and Plater Zyberg had planned an entire new town that was not just up along the frontage of the ocean but we learned something very critical there that they could extend the value of the ocean deep into the site so that places and homes that were farther away from the ocean still had a great value. And this is not typical in, in coastal development. And that's what we brought to Bella Beach, that concept that, that we could place a community center of that little green, of that park surrounded by houses, uh, th a thousand feet away from, uh, from the water and lead a very direct path and, a, and a, a narrow little view down that down a road through what we call the ocean muse of these these houses with their towers flanking both sides like bookends. Bella Beach became somewhat of an experiment of using these principles that were being used across the country in new towns and villages. Uh, we used some of those principles in Bella Beach and it, we learned real quickly that you know what that stuff works here too and people are are just have huge appetites for this type of concept. There's nothing else like it on the beach or on the coast that we have found. Uh, you've got the houses that are, are new. They're unique with the front porches out front. More than we could have ever expected to find. You know, in our head when we wanted a beach place, you know, I had always thought about like the eastern seaboard, you know, of New England where you see pictures in coastal living and things of that nature. I could see the kind of detail and attention that he was taking um, to making the, the buildings authentic um, to the kind of coastal communities that I was really looking for. It was very exciting to see that on the West Coast. We knew immediately that this was the place for us. Bella's been everything we were hoping for. I think everybody who's here shares this vision of a community. Mainly we were attracted to the vision of the community. The, the park, the community park, the community playground, the footpath from the highway down to the beach. We were sold on this uh, development, this we community, were. and we were determined 
to figure out a way to make it work. And they were really selling a community more than a home. It's a, it's a great place for kids with the park and uh, in the common area. They can get out and run and the beach is, is just right down the street. We've been living in this neighborhood, our permanent home, for the last seven years. Mm -hmm. And I think we know more people at Bella Beach that we've gotten to know over the last year of building than we know in seven years of living in a typical subdivision. During the summer especially, you see the families playing in the park with the frisbees and the dogs, and it's really neat to see. It just really makes me feel like this is a place that I want to be long term and f feel like it's the investment that we had hoped it would be. People actually use their porches here and um, when we walk to the beach always it seems like we're saying hi to somebody and there's people on the porch having coffee all the time and so right. you, you know your neighbors. Everything about this uh, development encourages you and makes you feel like you're a part of a community. You feel welcome in the whole neighborhood. You don't have to worry about somebody that's saying, no, I'm not going to fit in or something. It's just well, People are relaxed because you come here for that purpose. And so that comes across in personalities and gatherings and um, just extremely friendly feeling. Community-wise, I think it's been you know, great, way more than we could have ever hoped for. Historically, new beach towns have had incredible rates of appreciation when properly planned and executed. Seaside always set the high mark for real estate values in our area. When Seaside was getting $3,000 a front foot for beachfront property, other people were $1,000. So the investment that the developers put into a new urban project certainly pay off in the long run. Even in the short time Bella Beach has been around, owners are seeing a very healthy return on their investment. When we first moved in, we made a joke about at what point would you think about selling the house? And I threw out a number that I thought would never happen and it's almost there already. I know for a fact that I'm very pleased with the type of return that we've been getting. Mm -hmm. On a search for the next new urbanism project on the coast, Casey began his exploration in Washington. What he found will become the premier location of one of the best beach towns in the Pacific Northwest. Most people don't realize that the Washington coast is spectacular. The, the two areas that most people see are Long Beach and Ocean Shores and Westport, which have very flat terrain, but if you go further north, where you hit our property, Seabrook, you see that the property changes and becomes more rugged, much like the Oregon coast. I was lucky to find Jim Donahoe, a real estate agent that had grown up on the, on the coast there and knew all the areas and, and was a big promoter of the Washington coast. I told him that I wanted, I wanted a pallet, I wanted a fresh pallet, I wanted to a beautiful piece of property that we could build a beautiful new town on. When he drove up to the property, I was, um, you know, awestruck because it was exactly what I was looking for. It just happened to be that they just run sewer and water and utilities to this area. So all of a sudden, a piece of property that was very difficult to develop became very simple to develop. So it took us over a year to assemble the other properties that would make it viable to build a town. We saw that the minimum was 80 acres, and so we needed at least that. Now we've secured over 150 acres and have plenty of room for expansion if necessary, but have plenty to build a very solid new town at the beach. The next step was to prepare for the charrette. A charrette is used by most new town planners in order to ensure the success of a master plan for the site. As they began to study the natural characteristics of the property, two features really stood out. Probably the most spectacular part of our site is this beautiful wetland. It's, um, you know, Lawrence calls it a garden, and, and it really is. I mean, it's colorful and spectacular. Elk Creek on the south really is an extraordinary environment. It's a active, very vibrant wetlands with a stream moving through it that washes out to the ocean. The bluffs on the front of the property especially caught Casey's eye. And that is probably the most intriguing part of our site at Seabrook. And so, you know, we have up to 200 foot setbacks off of the bluffs. And so when, when you're looking out at the ocean, you're not just looking out at the ocean, you're looking through a beautiful forest out to the ocean. 
The second part of the research included discovering what rich history the region had, especially Pacific Beach, just north of Seabrook. Well, Pacific Beach really has an interesting history, and I didn't realize that in the beginning, but once I started getting involved with the historical society in Pacific Beach, um, I realized that Pacific Beach had a rich history, and there was an old train that would drop off, you know, 4,000 people at a time in Pacific Beach, and, and in, in my mind, and looking at the old photos, it would have very easily become, you know, the, the gem of the Washington coast, but it had some hard knocks, um, you know, fire burned down the town at one point, and it was never, it was never, never able to um, build itself back up. And then the, the Navy came in and bought a significant piece of the ground. So Pacific Beach really changed over a 20 year period of time. But, you know, before that, it was headed in the right direction. It would have been a, a beautiful little beach town. Finally, Casey and his team studied many of the beach towns along the Washington and Oregon coast in order for Seabrook to fit in as a local coastal village. In researching places to model Seabrook after, we wanted to look sort of closer into home here along the Oregon coast and the Washington coast in the neighborhoods around Seattle and, and around Portland. We studied you know, what is it about Cannon Beach that people really like? And we break those things down and we, and we see how can we put those same things in our new town. Seabrook was built not out of an image of some other far off place, but that Seabrook was built out of the homes, the houses, the buildings, the neighborhoods, the architecture of the Northwest. With all of their research in place, the charrette was ready to begin. Along with Casey and Lawrence's design team, many other guests were invited to help develop the master plan for Seabrook. We gathered together a group of designers, of landscape designers and architects and, uh, and other planners and engineers, traffic engineers. And we worked intensively for uh, about four or five days. And Gave, that gave us the opportunity to really steep ourselves in the site. When that master plan comes across the desk at these different agencies, they're going to feel like, hey, you know, I was involved in that. I was, I was at the charrette. While developing the master plan, one of the primary goals was to set a new standard for environmentally sensitive development. We take the task of building a new town on this site in Seabrook very seriously. It's an absolutely beautiful site, one that has to be dealt with with great care and, con and concern for the natural environment that is there. And this is a balance that we, we find we have to strike. In, in working with a site that already has a tremendous value in just its natural state, we feel that we are using the highest standards of, of sustainable growth and sustainable planning in the layout and the plan for Seabrook. Uh, so here we're working with 88 acres, yet we're building on 55 acres of that land. So there's a large portion of it which is being left in a natural state. We feel that the best way to, to develop is to, to build in a smaller area and to leave natural open space in common ownership. Preserving those places is perhaps the the greatest legacy that we feel we can leave. As the master plan grows to completion, the vision for what the town will look like has begun to materialize. We really visualize Seabrook as being a very American um, beach town with architecture that you can see all over the country, but that, that is very rooted in the Northwest. I think the most exciting part of the town is Main Street. That's what will serve the basic needs of the people that live in the town or use the, use the town as a second home. And that's really what brings people together and that's, what, that's the heartbeat of, of the town and the community. The plan of a town is just a, is sort of an open slate. You start to lay down certain patterns of the streets and the, and the, and the lotting and the platting and the, where the parks are. But a real community or a real town grows over time and is the result of many people adding their spirit to that place. 
Casey's experience and his energy will allow Seabrook to be very successful in the coming years. I just am thrilled about it, really. I'm looking forward to seeing um, more detailed plans as they emerge. Talk about a dreamer. Isn't he a dreamer? <laughs> the thing about his dreams are they come true. I think this is going to be an absolutely fantastic community. I really do. Uh, certainly one will buy in. It could very well be better than, than Bella Beach because it's going to be closer to Seattle. You're going to have access to uh, a lot of people from the Seattle area. And once they find out about this, uh, I think it could explode. I'm no expert by any stretch when it comes to this, but the feeling that I get from my experience with Bella is that uh, that'll be a home run. I think there's a lot of merit to what he's trying to do at Seabrook, and we're pretty excited about um, seeing it go through and possibly participating in the first phase of development there. Bella Beach is really unique and interesting, and, but the scope of the Seabrook is, is going to be pretty, pretty impressive. It's, it's large. There's a lot of opportunity up there. His experience from Bella Beach to be able to bring to Seabrook will make it a place that will be very special along the Washington coast.